Hey guys, Jimmy H here with Jimmy H Investing. How are you guys doing today? So, when your tenant moves out, what are you gonna do, right? Uh, what kind of what kind of expenses it's gonna cost? How long is it gonna take to rent the place back out? Um, you know, and the screening process and getting a qualified you know tenant is gonna be difficult. Well, that happened to me. Uh, so October first, which is about a month or so ago, uh, my property manager emailed me and said your tenant said that. Uh, due to relocation in the military and whatnot. Uh, he has to break his lease and last day will be Halloween, which is October 31st, which is a month late, a month. Um, so that was about two and a half weeks ago. They moved out on the Halloween day. Um, so I've been having to basically uh, do minor repairs in the place, um, touch up paints if it doesn't need a food, you know, paint job inside. Carpet could be shampoo or replaced, um, and then of course uh, a deep cleaning of the whole house. So you know the new tenant will have a, basically a fresh place to move in, and of course as a property you know landlord here, I always have my place well well look well like when they do a walkthrough, and that way there will be less issues, and um, you know they'll probably sign the lease and whatnot, right? So. As far as the cost itself for a turnover, you don't want to deal with turnovers as often as needed because of the fact that it does cost money when the tenant moves out. And no matter how clean they leave the place in, it's still going to be a little bit of repairs, touch-ups, cleaning, right? And so I'm going to kind of walk you through what I went through uh, the last couple of weeks and um, still currently being, uh, you know, taken care of and whatnot. I do have a tenant that's lined up to move in on November 30th, which is in about a little bit past a week or so from now. Today is the 15th of November. So uh, November 30th will be uh, basically 15 days, right? Um, so they'll be moving in and I will have the place ready for them by then. But in the meantime, you know, there's big costs associated with it. I'm gonna try to go over the actual numbers that it will cost me, all right? so. Um, let me turn the camera a little bit to the board and then I'll let you know what it actually cost me. All right, guys, so you can see the board here. It's uh, repairs. It's going to cost me roughly $2,000. And this kind of repairs is like the minor repairs, okay? Uh, changing of the flappers of the toilet, maybe the toilet seats, um, hinges in the doors, or guidelines in the, um, the closet, you know, guides door stop, uh, cleaning of the oven and whatnot like that. A little bit of grout work maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly, you know, what all entails, but just minor repairs. All right, minor repairs. And then uh, paint job. Luckily, I didn't need the entire house to be repainted because the, the previous tenant actually kept it in a good, good enough shape. Uh, but touch up paints, like when they hang posters and, uh, you know, pictures and whatnot, there's holes and from the ticky tacks, uh, thumb tags. So those kind of stuff, and then of course, you know, they've been there for two years, so it's going to be a little bit wear and tear. So a thousand dollars to touch up the paints, carpet. Unfortunately, um, we tried to think about should we shampooing it, but then of course, from the pictures and my property manager assessments, um, it needs to be replaced. So I'm going to go ahead and have it replaced, and it's going to cost me forty one hundred dollars, and this is going to be replacing the whole thing. So it'll be a brand new carpet for the new tenants to move in on the thirtieth. And then number four, cleaning. I mean, the cleaning is basically cleaning the whole entire house. Blinds, top of doors, top of, you know, um, cabin trees, inside the cabin tree, inside the restroom, inside the bedroom, anything that needs to be um, clean. All right. I oh, forgot to mention the repairs. It also includes like blinds, broken blinds, replacement blinds and stuff like that. So I have a few blinds that need to be replaced. That goes into this $2,000. And of course, number five here, loss of rent, right? Monthly, um, this is a monthly. I rent out the place $1,500 uh, because November, there's no one there. I have to I have to lose that $1,500, right? So the $1,500 plus the five plus the 45 or 100, 1,000, 2,000 grand total of $9,100 here. Um, this is what it's gonna cost me to turn it over to the next tenant uh, for November 30th. So that's what I'm saying. None of this would have been um, any. None of this, I mean, would have been a cost to me this month um, if I didn't have the turnover, right? So, as a property manager, you want to have your tenants stay as long as possible. 
we renew the lease yearly if possible and keep the place maintained so they want to stay because once they turn it up once they decide to move out no matter how clean and how good condition it is you could have some kind of repairs paint job like i mentioned earlier no matter how clean and how good it is that they kept it you're gonna have some kind of paint touch up carpet shampooing will cost money right you're gonna have to shampoo the place you can't just vacuum and be ready right um cleaning no matter how clean they leave, they leave your place, you're going to have to go back in and re clean it. And of course, depending on how long your place stays vacant, luckily for me, I only had one month worth of vacancy, which is only 1500 up. Imagine I didn't have another tenant lined up on the 30th of November, it would be $3,000 because I'll probably lose November and December, correct? So, $9,100, how much it cost me for this turnover of this property. Um, I will probably do a video uh, on the property itself after everything is taken care of, and then I will show you what the, the property will look like. Move in ready. Um, right now, um, this was gonna, the work's being done. Um, I don't have access to the property right now because I live out of state. This is in Vegas. As most of you, you know, follow my channel will know that my property is in Vegas. My property manager is having it taken care of with all the contractors on site. Uh, but I will be in the property you know, soon before it gets rented out again, and then I will take pictures and whatnot, do a quick video when I'm over there live, uh, and then we'll see uh, we'll see what the all this ninety one hundred dollars will be uh, will be looking like. But as far as you know, turnovers you don't want tough turnovers. So this is gonna cost me ninety one hundred dollars, and then in addition, of course, I'm not gonna be able to collect the full rent for. December because it's going to get um, taken care of like placement fees and whatnot because I do have a property manager so he's going to charge me placement fees and he's going to charge me you know relocating the, the tenants in background check uh, processing fees so I'll probably get half of this it'll probably be you know eight hundred nine hundred dollars maybe a little bit more than half but I won't get the full hundred so it's going to cost me you know some of December as well right um, I didn't add it in there because I don't know exactly how much, but it's going to be roughly half of that. It's going to cost me. All right, guys. So, um, try to do a little quick one now on how much it's going to cost me. Uh, hopefully, you know, they'll stay longer than a year because mo most of my leases are all a year. And after a year, if they decide to do a two year lease, then, you know, that's fine. If not, then, uh, another year is fine or they could go month to month, but that's usually how I do it. So once I get into the property, I'll do another video. I'll take some pictures. To show you what the the after look like, and then uh, we'll go from there, right, guys? Just want to hop on and show you the actual cost. I actually cost of your turnovers. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.